my eyeshadow palette of, well, I'm going over the, I swatched the rest of the eyeshadows, these four eyeshadows over here from this Wet n Wild Abstract Art, Mega, oh, yeah, Mega Glow Eyes Cream Eyeshadow. That's what I figured I'd start out with first since I was already talking about the blush slash illuminator right there. Uh, right. This one's a blush slash illuminator. And then these other ones are the three eyeshadows. Four eyeshadows. The bottom one. This one's the purple one. Um, which one was that? This one was the silver one, but it don't really look silver. And then that pink one is the lightest one. What's that one? Is it a use those too much on my eyes because they show off your creases and stuff on your eyelids and they slide but if you were to put them on your cheeks or something like that it would probably show up really well and I hate that purple color I don't like that at all that's how it looks in person like this Here's another one in Wild uh, palette. It's an older one that I have. So what I found is that Wet and Wild and Mark Wins are like the same, or because some of them say Wet and Wild and they also say Mark Wins. That's what I found in these path these things, and I didn't know that. I thought Mark Wins. So this is a swatch of that. And this palette was specifically for hazel eyes, I want to say. Yeah, it looks great on green, hazel, and brown eyes. It was one of them eye color palettes. They had, uh, like, purples, I think, for uh, blue eyes, purples and browns. Okay, so now I just swatched some more of the Mark Wins. Uh, these are the little individual ones. And what I noticed, they're like Mark Wins International, is some of the, they're very chunky and like you have to like scrape with your finger now. Like this white one and then this pink one. The blues and this black color seem to come out nice. And this is what they look like. And then this is the last Mark Wins International eyeshadow that I'm going to swatch. Okay, so it is called, I mean, it says eye highlight, eyeshadow, and cream liner. And this particular one does get very creamy. And gel-like consistency when it's wet. These, all of these colors turn out very pigmented and soft and smooth on the skin. Compared to the other individual ones, I just, I didn't like them at all. So you can kind of see. Let me see. They're pretty much the exact same colors as they're supposed to be. This type of pigment, you like usually don't see in cheaper brands. 